Next thing we want to do is get some JavaScript in this site. So I'm going to create a little uh, form here below the pop quiz. That's that's a, I'll maybe I'll do a h2 tag and say send fan mail here, and then um, I'll create a form. So hopefully we feel good about JavaScript uh, form, and then on there I'll have one label that says um, you know who's it from. Okay, and I'm going to leave an op an input box here so they can type some information in, and then I'll put another label. Um, which again, just helpful. It, it's building the closing text for you when you do the opening. Um, so then we say input for that one, input tag. Um, and then between those two, I'll, I'll put a little break. And then a label that says uh, message. And then we'll have to create here, a, a, rather than an input box, which is small, I'm going to create a text area. And I'll say the rows is equal to four. OK, so we're going to put four rows and um, don't need anything in there. And then after that, I'm going to put another break tag. And then we'll have a button to be able to submit this. And so I'm going to put in an input uh, type equals submit. So we're going to have an input button equals submit. The value that we're going to show is send message. All right, so there's our little JavaScript. OK, so that's that's going to be on the, the well, if we've done things right, that should show up now on this site. So sure enough, there it is. I don't like how subject and from, or it's kind of mashed together. I need to get some space in there. So let's go back. And um, I want the, the box to be below the message. So I'm going to put another break tag. I probably had that in my notes and just didn't do it. Didn't follow my own instructions. Let's see how this looks. I think I like the from and the subject, though, one after the other. So after the from and before the subject, let's put in a break there as well. See if we can get this looking better. Again, design, not my thing. Do not hire me ever, ever, ever as a designer. All right, so then we've got our from, we've got our subject, and we've got, we can write a little message here and then send the message. Now, currently, when we send the message, it's refreshing this site. It's trying to do something, but um, it's not actually doing anything yet. And so our trick is going to be to get it to do something. And so in order to do that, I'm going to need to create a little uh, JavaScript file. And once again, as you might have guessed, the JavaScript file is something that's downloaded to the user directly. That They could go in and type that address, and it would access that file directly. And so we want it to be in the www root folder, but we want to create our own little folder and put in here a new folder. And this is going to be our JS folder. This is going to be our JavaScript folder. And so now, within that folder, I want to create a little JavaScript file. I'll right click and say add a new item. And then in our little template list, it's going to have somewhere down here, JavaScript file. And I'll just call this, this is our site JS. These aren't great names, but I have a reason. There's a method to the madness. And so we've got our site JS now. And so this is our file where we can actually go do something. And so just to test it out, just to see if this thing worked, I'm going to say document.get element by ID. We don't have an ID on the element yet. I don't think I put one, right? And so on the button itself, did I not follow my notes again or did I just not do it yet? Um, <laughs> we need to, to go put that uh, ID on the element. So in here, we need to set, oh, sorry, um, not there. Here on the, the button, where's my button? Yeah, right here. Then we need to set this so it can be accessed by the ID. And I can't remember. This is how bad it is, I, my uh, HTML. What do I put here? Do I, is it class? You all are going to look at me like I'm a, a fool. No, not class. Um, is it ID? It's not ID. It's something else. I always think it's ID and then it's something else. Pausing. 
Well, that's embarrassing. It is ID. So ID equals, and I'm gonna call this uh, button submit. All right, so on the other end, on our site JS, I'm gonna say the element that I wanna get the ID by is pound button submit. And then what I wanna do is just to test this out, I'm gonna say add an event listener and the function is click. And when they click, I want to uh, do the following. So I'm gonna create a function built in that says opening brace, um, alert, which we don't typically like to do, but I do like them for testing. This worked. All right, so we can see that it actually worked. I'm gonna save this all. I'm gonna run it and I'm gonna cross my fingers, but I think you know it's not gonna work. Click, nothing. Ah, frustrated, frustrated, bad words, change majors. No, so what we need to do is on the index HTML page, if we want that JavaScript to be able to run, then it has to be on the site. So I need to get this site JS file and get it down into our HTML so that it's linked up so that it knows that that's a script that needs to be run. So now when I run this, Okay, send message, and now it isn't working. This is not good. I didn't expect that. Let's see what we can figure out. Why is that not running? Is it not ID? I swear it's not ID. Let me try class. I'm going off of memory here. This is not in my notes, by the way. Didn't work. Okay, I need one of you here to help me out with this. Why am I not getting my little alert? Back in a second. All right, I'm back. You really might hear me saying some bad words here shortly. No, I wouldn't do that. Okay, um, so my problem, and you're probably screaming at the screen, is that I'm mashing up some things here by using the hashtag symbol there. We want the button submit, not that I'm mixing things up of what we're going to be doing in a second. And so I save this, come back in here, and I should have tested this actually before I was so confident that this is actually gonna be the solution. I feel like Thomas saying, watch my robots victory dance before the battle was even over. Anyway, all right, so let's run this. Cross our fingers like we do often. No worko. All right, this is just silly. So the type is submit, we got that. The value is send message, the class, oh. <laughs> it's like it's my first time doing this. All right, let's try this again. No. Okay, we just keep going. We keep figuring out what's going on. We do not give up. If that's one thing that I could impart to you is that I have never run into a problem I couldn't solve if I give it enough time and pressure. Just keep trying, keep working at it, give it enough time, and it will give at some point. So we're gonna get this one to give. Um, but I hate to make you watch a bunch of time on the video, me figuring out how to do it. So get element by ID, oh my gosh. It's like it's my first time doing this. Cross my fingers, aha. It's amazing when you do it right, how it works. Okay, so this is using JavaScript to say this worked. This isn't exactly what we want to do, but we're gonna uh, learn something about how to do this a little bit easier, much easier than what I just did. Um, in the next video, Spencer out.